Namaste, soul siblings. Glorious morning. This is Vic, and we start our morning practice called BAM Yoga, breathing, asana, and meditation. We start our week, our day, integrating our five bodies and engaging with life connected with our soul. Fantastic. Our first practice is called life appreciation. So we start breathing using more of the capacity of our lungs than we are used to and celebrating life. Particularly, I like to focus on three levels of life. The, God, the life that God created, that life that we create for ourselves, and the life that we are. We are life living. From every single atom that is making every cell, every molecule, every organ, every system in your body, every single part is a living entity. You are a full, alive being of life. So we celebrate that. Let's breathe in a mood of celebration. Inhaling richly and exhaling generously. Thank you, life, for the whole of life. Thank you, God, for all the things that you have created. All the life in the different sizes, shapes, forms, colors that make up this planet and the entire universe. I love to watch these programs about on TV about the universe, the planets, the stars. It's so magnificent to be alive and to know of all these things. In my particular case, that fills up my heart. So picking on something like that, that touches your heart, your soul, your peace, your joy, it is a great way to connect with the energies of the light and bring them into your system and into your day. We celebrate also being people of free will and willpower. We celebrate our ability to choose and to generate change. We choose to breathe using more and more of the capacity of our lungs. In celebration that we are beings of free will, we choose to separate some time from our day to integrate ourselves and not necessarily engage with our day and our life in automatic mode. Breathe in in celebration to be you. And as you look around also pay attention to the life that you have created for yourself. The house you live in, the job that you have, the car you drive, the clothes you wear, the thoughts you entertain in your mind, the food you eat, the hours you sleep, the people in your life, your health, your wealth, this time that we share together in BAM Yoga, we also appreciate it. Even as I keep talking and as you're looking around, please keep breathing, using more of the capacity of your lungs. Every few breaths you can make your inhale and exhale last longer. Regulate the pace at which you breathe and teach yourself to find joy in feeling the life force energy entering your body, blessing you with life and joy in the present moment. I love to work with the breath because it gives us virtually immediate benefits. 
They are almost instantaneous. It makes us feel so good so fast. Therefore we use, we pay attention to our own experience and we honor it. We honor self-experience as the foremost teacher, guide, guru. Our own experience cannot lie to us. Being present and aware with ourselves and our lives, we learn from our experience and we use what we learn to enhance our lives. Free will, willpower, we celebrate these gifts. Expand your heart. Breathe in freedom. Freedom to be you. Wherever you are, whomever you're with, whatever you do. Breathe in celebration. To be life living. Josué, mi hermano, bendiciones. De corazón a corazón estamos haciendo nuestra práctica de BAM Yoga. Breathing, Asana and Meditation. If you have a little time, please join us. If you have the full hour, fantastic. But the shortest pra practice is only six minutes. So as long as you have available, it's good for you. It will bring you blessings. Second part of the practice is called Focus Breathing. So we are going to breathe now using the full capacity of our lungs. Lungs go from the base of the ribs up to the collarbones. So let's start exhaling. Seal your lips, seal your eyes, and open your heart. Blow all the air out of your lungs. And then softly let your exhale become inhale. Slowly fill up your lungs. Breathing richly and slowly, the energies within begin to accommodate. Clarity grows in your mind. Your emotions find peace. And you feel expanding. We are using a breathing technique called Ujjayi breath, where we are making a subtle sound at the back of the throat, which we use as an anchor to keep the mind in the present moment. Karina, bendiciones. Qué bonito verte. Practicamos la respiración Ujjayi. Centrándonos en el corazón, conectando con el alma y enganchando con la vida conscientemente. Respiramos utilizando la capacidad total de nuestros pulmones.
The mind always finds a way to bring distraction, unrelated thoughts and images, worry, stress, anxiety, anticipation, preoccupation. Skip all that and choose for the time being to dedicate to your breath. Every other process in your life will be enhanced. Trust that. Center in your soul, and your soul will guide you to more effective and efficient ways to address your life, to make the connections you like to make, to get the resources you would like to have, to find a new job, make more money, find a new partner. Whatever it is that you're looking for, expanding your adventures in life, your soul goes with you everywhere. So your soul has to do with you wherever you go. You don't have to be religious. And being spiritual only means that you're interested in your spirit. That means your soul. So use this time to make that connection. Transcend your mind. Because when you engage in thinking, you are connecting with your, the brain, the mind. Transcend the thought and connect with your soul. Let your mind be focused on how you're breathing, on pacing yourself, on using the full capacity of your lungs, on learning to find comfort in breathing more slow and sustaining silence in your mind. As you breathe in, feel and see yourself filling up with light, clarity, peace, good health, joy. We are creators and in this time, as you follow my guidance, we are creating together an environment within affecting the air environment all around with peace, with grace, with divine light. Fantastic. Second part of the practice completed. Nicole, I was thinking of you. <laughs> so nice to see you. Qué bonito. Vamos a pasar a la tercera parte de la práctica. Estamos integrando los cinco cuerpos para <coughs> empezar nuestro día y semana. Bueno, en tu caso, Nicole, ya estás más adelantada que nosotros. Pero igualito, empezamos la semana conectados con el espíritu. Ahora, vamos a respirar moviendo el cuerpo en armonía con la respiración. Empezamos con las manos frente al corazón, exhalando. Inhalamos, llevando los brazos hacia arriba, estirando la espalda, los brazos y luego abriendo hacia los lados, expandiendo el corazón. We breathe through the nose using the full capacity of our lungs. And we move the body in celebration for life, to be ourselves, and to be able to move. Inhale up. Exhale, lean to the side, stretch make it feel good for you. Inhale up. Exhale, lean to the other side. In this practice, we are also 
engaging in joy as we do whatever it is that we're doing. We can teach ourselves to enjoy our deeds. But we have learned so much to do things because we have to, because it's the right thing to do. Lean forward this time. Because our elders told us. But little do we seek to do things making ourselves feel good. So therefore we practice. Inhale up, engage your abdominal muscles, reach up high. And to exhale, place a vision of something you want to have or experience within your hands and bring it down to your earthly plane. Inhale slowly up. Hold that vision, whatever you want to have or experience today. And as you exhale, bring that virtual reality down to your earthly reality. See yourself having it, enjoying it, sharing it, expressing it. Let's do it one more time. Exhale forward. Create for this day something beautiful for you consciously. Inhale, come up. And your exhale, arms down behind your back. Feet in front of you, flat. Fingers pointing forward and with your inhale, bring your hips up, tilt your head back, open the heart. Exhale down, move with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch, open the heart. Move in perfect harmony with the flow of your breath. Exhale down. Turn over to your knees and hands. Hands are shoulder width. Knees are hip width. Inhale, curve your spine up and look towards your belly button. On the exhale, belly button down. Look forward and up. Arch your back. Inhale. Stimulate your body, make it feel good, stretch it. Don't just move automatically. Don't let your mind take you to other places. Stay with the practice. Come to neutral. Shift your right hand to the center and with your next inhale, bring your left arm up. Look up high, twist. And as you exhale, bring your hand down. Switch hands. Next inhale, right arm up. We go to the other side, stretching. Exhale, bring your hand down. Move in perfect harmony with your breath. Inhale, other side. Reach up high, open the heart. A lot of these exercises prompt you to open the heart. And if you have heard this class before, maybe you've heard me say, to me, the heart is the home of the soul. Next exhale, child's pose. Hips back, rest your ribs between your thighs, forehead down. Inhale up, knees and hands. Exhale back, child's pose. Move with your breath and feel good in your body. If you find some tension anywhere in your body, instead of forcing it to relax or to go deeper, try surrendering, try letting go in your mind of that tension and your body will reflect it. Next inhale, go forward, extending your legs behind you. Lift the heart, look up. This is Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Next exhale, forehead down. Inhale, lift the heart, look up. Exhale, forehead down. Inhale, lift the heart. And with the exhale, hips up in the air, downward dog. 
Bend one knee and the other, twisting your hips. And with your next inhale, look forward, walk the feet between the hands, legs straight. And with the exhale, head down, keep the legs straight, go deep, stretch. Inhale, come up, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Fantastic. Breathing section completed. Now we move on to the asana section of our practice. Let's play the Mool Mantra today. All chakras blessed. All right. Feet together, arms down. With your next inhale, bring your arms up. Reach up high. On the exhale, lean forward, reaching for your toes. Legs straight. Inhale, look up. Exhale. Top of the push-up. Hold it there. Draw your belly button in like about half an inch so that the belly is not hanging down. This is called a banda. That's an energy lock. With the next inhale, look forward. And the exhale, bend the elbows, come down. If you need to rest your knees down, do that. Bottom of the push-up, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the heart for Cobra. And with the exhale, hips up in the air, downward dog. Bend one knee, then the other. Twisting the hips. Breathing using the full capacity of your lungs. Gently pressing the heels towards the mat and the heart towards the toes. Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. Exhale, the head down, legs straight. Inhale, come up, arms up. Exhale, arms by your sides. Awesome. One more time, sun salutation A. Inhale, up. up. Exhale, reach for toes, legs straight. Go deeper than the previous time. Inhale, look up. On the exhale, hands down, feet back, bottom of the push-up. Cobra inhaling, lift the heart. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths in downward dog. Keep this posture active. So to do that, Perhaps your knees are a little bit bent and your heels off the ground. The elbows may be a little bit bent. So bicycle your legs, bringing every one heel at a time closer and closer to the mat. You will feel a pull on the back of your legs. And every few breaths, press both heels down and your heart towards the toes. Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. Exhale, the head down. Inhale, come up, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Sun salutation B is next. Bend the knees, arms up, inhaling. On the exhale, legs straight, reach for your toes. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands down, feet back, bottom of the push-up slowly. Develop upper body strength. Inhale, up cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Next inhale, right foot forward, arms come up. Warrior one. Breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Stand firmly. If the body is having difficulty keeping the balance, see that your feet have enough width between them. Make a good base for you to stand firmly. 
on your exhale hands to the front foot to the back bottom of the push-up inhale up cobra exhale downward dog next inhale right foot forward left foot forward I mean arms up keep your attention on the flow of your breath and breathe using the full capacity of your lungs Exhale, hands to the front, foot to the back, bottom of the push-up. Inhale up, cobra. Exhale, downward dog, five breaths. If you need to take a break, please go to child's pose. Either way, you're breathing using the full capacity of your lungs. Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight, go deeper. Bend your knees. Inhale, arms up, chair pose. On the exhale, legs straight, arms down. One more time, sun salutation B. Bend your knees, arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach for your toes, legs straight. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands down, feet back. Bottom of the push up. Cobra inhaling. Downward dog exhaling. Inhale, right foot forward, arms up, warrior. And remember, everything that we do on the mat has a counterpart on our life out the mat. When you are practicing to stand firmly on the mat, you are indeed practicing to stand firmly in face of life. On the next exhale, hands to the front, foot to the back, bottom of the push-up. Inhale, call. Exhale, downward dog. Next inhale, left foot forward, arms up, warrior one. When you practice standing in face of life with your heart open, when you practice that on the mat, you're bringing that attitude also to your life. Here we're practicing to keep the mind clear. Therefore, you bring a clear mind to your life. Everything that we do on the mat has a counterpart on our life outside the mat. Next exhale, hands to the front, foot to the back. Bottom of the push-up. Go inhaling. Downward dog exhaling. Five breaths. Teach yourself to find comfort in breathing more slowly than you're used to and using the full capacity of your lungs, both on inhale and on exhale. Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. Exhale the head down, legs straight. Bend your knees, inhale, come up, chair pose. On the exhale, legs straight, arms down. Shake it off, fantastic. Now, wrist therapy, come to the knees and hands. Hands are shoulder width, fingers point forward, and very softly and easily we turn the fingers pointing back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, 
forward, forward, back, back. Hold the back, back part and now lean back. Keeping the palms in contact with your mat, stimulate your wrists and you will feel a pull on the muscles at the base of your forearms. It feels awesome, really. Come forward and turn your palms facing up middle fingers pointing each other lean back and slowly lean forward feeling the weight on your wrists it stimulates and it feels good make sure it's comfortable for you if it's too much back up a little when you find your point of comfort as you exhale make fists Beautiful. Sit on your heels and shake your wrists. Move the hands like this, then like that, softly. Circle motion in both directions. Fingertips together, press, exhaling, separate, inhaling. We stimulate absolutely every part of the body in this practice, keeping ourselves youthful, strong, ready for life, and happy to be alive. Open the hands, make fists. Beautiful. Next we go to boat pose. I love it. Today I'll do boat pose sideways so come to seated and bend your knees let them point up feet flat on the mat hands on your knees lean back lift the heart roll the shoulders back feet off the ground extend the arms with the palms facing up Breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. So that's the sideway take. Now I get here. So, as we're holding our legs off the ground, please begin to take your mind to this mantra. Conviction, determination, consistency. Conviction, determination, consistency, conviction, determination, consistency, five more, conviction, determination, consistency, conviction, determination, consistency, three more, conviction, determination, consistency, keep your knees together, your feet off the ground, conviction, determination, consistency, lift your heart, roll the shoulders back, conviction, determination, consistency, now legs extended, three, conviction, determination, consistency, two, conviction, determination, consistency, one more, conviction, determination, consistent, See, slowly lower your feet, shake, beautiful. Very powerful attributes to hold and display in our day to day. Conviction, determination and consistency. Conviction, to know what we want. Determination, to know we are going to get it no matter what. And consistency in thought, word and action as well as over time. Beautiful. <clears throat> these attributes help us manifest make our creations and manifest them all right so next will be shoulder stand ladies if you are in your moon cycle instead of doing shoulder stand please lay on your backs and come to Viparita Karani this is it 
legs up the wall pose you can hold the legs against the wall or you can just hold them up in the air like this take about 15 breaths also this posture is very good for insomnia or if you want to go to sleep in a peaceful way for shoulder stand feet off the ground hips off the ground hands to the lower back to help you bring your torso also off the ground extend the legs up in the air and breathe using the full capacity of your lungs life is beautiful you are beautiful and we celebrate On your exhale, lower your feet overhead, extend the arms. If your feet do not reach the ground, you can use some support to keep them higher. Pay attention to the energies around your neck. Is there fear, uncertainty, panic, anxiety, stress? If you find any of those or whatever, other energy that does not serve you but instead it blocks or limits you choose to breathe it out and relax then as you breathe in bring another form of energy that you feel will serve you better today now optional you can interlace the fingers behind the back and to go deeper into this posture, you can have your toes reach away from your head. On your next exhale, slowly undo your fingers and roll out of the posture, just one vertebrae at the time on your mat. Next will be fish. Legs extended, feet together, and the toes point away from the head. Elbows down, palms face down, lift the heart and tilt the head back. Slide the elbows towards your toes, your feet, until the crown of your head rests on the mat. Option one stays there, option two, legs and arms off the ground. In both cases, the action of lifting the heart removes the weight of the neck breathe deeply you're stimulating your seven chakras now consolidating a solid connection with the soul on your exhale gently release Curl the knees into the heart, sway softly, left and right. Roll over the side of your body and help yourself up to seated. Now we take a brief moment to give thanks. We give thanks to all the masters and sages that came before us and left the beautiful awesome legacy of yoga for us to study and practice today so to all of them we say thank you and if you like please repeat with me parama rishipyo namaha parama rishipyo namaha acharya devo baba acharya devo baba thank you so much Next is Shavasana. We all love Shavasana. So, lay on your back and close your eyes, open your heart. Separate your feet the width of your mat. 
Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale long through your mouth, opening wide and sticking the tongue out. Open the eyes wide and roll the eyeballs in all directions. Ah. Make a sigh also as you exhale and relax your body. Ah. Ah. One more. Ah. Come back to your usual breathing pattern. And choose to identify with the watcher within. Let go of the doer the feeler, the thinker and just allow yourself to be be awake, be aware even if the body falls asleep there's nothing to think about, plan for, remember, project just allow yourself to be be happy, be grateful, be peaceful, be here, be now. Become the watcher, identify with the watcher. Even if the mind doesn't stop bringing thoughts, choose to watch the thoughts instead of feeding them. Identify with the watcher. As you watch, notice what are your thoughts about. But don't fight them, don't try to change them at this moment. Just become aware. What is the theme? Darkness or light? Peace or war? Scarcity or wealth? Abundance? Depression or joy? Simply notice. What is the quality of your thoughts? Darkness or light? Choose to feed them not, just watch. As you feel ready, wiggle your fingers, your toes, your ankles and your wrists, your knees and your elbows. Hug the knees and sway left and right, eventually rolling over the one side and helping yourself up to seat it as we come to the last section of our practice, meditation. I feel so happy. <laughs> Thank you. So find a comfortable seated posture now and once again close your eyes open your heart if you like you can connect again with Ujjayi breath And definitely, continue to identify 
with the watcher. Love in my surroundings. Love to all. Love Today, during our practice of meditation, Peace before me. I'll skip the guiding Peace behind me. throughout and I'll just Peace give you this guidance now. Peace Choose to be the watcher. If a sensation comes on your skin, watch it. If a feeling arises in your within, watch it. If one thought or many come into your head, watch them. Whatever happens, watch. Be able to say, I am the watcher. Or when you say, I am, you are referring to the watcher. Be the watcher. When thoughts come into your head, choose to feed them not. Just watch them. It's only a few moments and you are not wasting time. Don't let your mind trick you with that. And when it says that, just watch it. Don't fight, don't resist, don't retaliate, don't answer back, don't engage in dialogue with the mind. Just watch. The benefits of doing this, you will be able to notice, identify. For now, devote your time, yourself, to be the watcher. Peace before you. Peace behind you. Peace at your left. Peace at your right. Peace above you. If you are breathing using the full capacity of your lungs, watch your breath. Peace in your surroundings. Peace to all. Peace to the universe. Light before you. Light behind you. Light at your left. Light at your right. Light above you. Light below you, light onto you, light in your surrounding, light to all, light to the universe. Be the watcher. Love before me. Be the watcher. time practice becoming aware when your mind engages in thought teach yourself to recognize when your mind is thinking many times for us thinking is like the air around us we are immersed in it but we don't even realize it Use this time to become keenly aware when your mind is thinking. For that, simply watch. When the thoughts come into your head, don't feed them with any more opinions, appreciations, more thoughts. 
Just watch them. Don't add nothing to them. Peace at your mind. Peace above you. Peace below you. Peace on you. Peace in your surroundings. Peace to all. Peace to the universe. Light before you. Light behind you. Light at your left. Light at your right. Light above you. Light below you. Light onto you. Light in your surrounding. Light to all. Light to the universe. Thinking is mind connection. Choosing to watch the mind think is soul connection. Connect with your soul. Be the watcher. Love before me. Love behind me. Love at my left. Love at my right. Love above me. Love below me. Love onto me. Love in my surroundings. Become keenly aware when your mind is thinking. Be the watcher. Peace above me. Peace below me. This is not thinking time. Peace unto me. Not planning time. Peace in my surroundings. This is being Peace time. Peace to all. Peace to the universe. Be the watcher. nothing to do love above me just to be love be the watcher love unto me. if you find that there's nothing to watch love watch the me. silence watch love the stillness me. remain awake Peace and aware even if there's nothing in your mind in your within 
then you have arrived to the meditative state. The state of beingness, the state of connection with your true identity. You have connected with your freedom. Witnessing, watching are the attitudes of the Divine. Seeing your own self-experience, whatever you do or cease to do or don't do at all, God simply watches. It is not coming from the heavens to stop you or to move you. It is just watching. When you identify with the watcher within, you are connecting with the God within, the Goddess within. Be the watcher, identify with the God within you. And as you feel ready, open your eyes, look around, and hold on to that state. Now you're not looking at thoughts or sensations or feelings arising in your body or within you. Now you are watching the whole of life outside of you, the outer world, we call it. Choose to watch without having to label what you watch, without having to make it good or bad or right or wrong, pretty or ugly. Just watch it. Perhaps you'll see the beauty on whatever you see. And if you look more intently, perhaps you will see the presence of the Divine also there, as you just realized, is within you. This is the meditative state. It is not difficult to achieve, and it only requires practice to be held. So let's practice. I am so happy we practice together today, and I look forward to practicing with you tomorrow. We are gathering Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. Miami time. But if you are in another country, your time zone is different, or you don't have the time available at that precise time, there is a replay that you can access by tapping on the logo on my Instagram bio. The replay is saved for 24 hours, and the following day we record a new one. There is a fee for this class, but please only pay if you like it. If you don't like it, forget about it. If you like it, please help me spread the word. Let's create a big community of online yogis feeling happy and living connected to their soul. Thank you so much for joining. Enjoy a beautiful day. Manifest glorious things for yourself and the people you love today. Namaste. This video goes only for one hour. It stops automatically. So I say goodbye before they cut me off. Thank you so much. I love you all. Namaste. Blessings. Enjoy a glorious day.